Okay. Hello, welcome back to Rolling Renegade. Uh, today we are going to be doing doing some cooking. We're going to be making burrito tacos. If you had seen our last video, we were in Nogales, Mexico, and we had some burrito tacos from a uh, taco stand, little restaurant in Mexico, and they were outstanding. I've always wanted to make these tacos. I just haven't done it yet. And having had them over the weekend, thought it's time to do that. Even if we're on the road, we can do that. Uh, my wife and I, while we're traveling, we like to eat homemade meals. We, we don't like to eat a lot of fast food. So we do all of our cooking, all of our meals every day from the coach. I try to do most of our coach cooking outside. What I have to start is I've got two pounds of chuck steak that I've, I've cut up into about uh, two to three inch pieces. I've dried it very well. I've cut off all the silver. I thoroughly dried it. I salt and peppered it. I've got a couple tablespoons of uh, avocado oil is what I like to use. for. Uh, so I have avocado oil in here. I'm going to get the avocado oil hot outside and then I'm going to sear all my meat. So let's go outside and get that done so we don't get the smoke in here and let's go. Hey guys, so let's sear this, let's sear this uh, chuck outside here. Uh, when, when we're camping, we use induction cooktops outside. Love them with the paint, with the induction pans and everything. It's really great. Uh, we, we have no propane on our coach. Everything's electric. This works out great for us. They're, they say it's going to rain. I take all this stuff and I, I put it in the, in the basement here. So right now I'm just heating up the oil. I'm going to get this real good and hot, which I think it probably is now. And we'll throw the meat in. We're going to want to sear this meat on all sides. Lock in that flavor. We're not going to cook it all the way through. We're just going to sear it. This will probably take, oh, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, something like that. First step. Okay, got them all seared up. Let's go ahead and take these inside. So our our beef is all seared up. We're going to need this pan in a minute for the the onions and tomatoes and peppers and things like that. Uh, limited cooking burners. So I'm going to go ahead and toast all of our uh, consomme whole spices. We dry roasted these uh, spices. Oh, I wish you could smell this. It's very fragrant. I'm going to go ahead and just set these aside so they stop cooking and we'll use them later. I've listed out the ingredients for this recipe here for you. I've got our spices set to the side for later. They're cooling. Won't cook any longer there. I've taken our seared chuck. I put it in this container, trying to keep all those juices in. I've added one tablespoon of avocado oil to this pan. We're gonna heat that up. We're gonna throw our onions in. So we'll get those onions in. We'll get those cooked just till they soften up take a few minutes then we'll go in with our garlic for about a minute after these soften let's get these done all right okay the uh, the garlic's been was cooking for a minute I did just add a tablespoon of dried oregano in here that I forgot to toast and I'll go ahead and put the rest of my dry roasted spices and give that a little stir. We're also using three chilies on this. Three different kinds of chilies. One of them is a Yajiro chili uh, with the stems cut off and de-seeded. Uh, the other one is a 
Chile, Colorado. Also, the uh, stems cut off, de-seeded. Then the last one is Chile Diablo. So we'll, we'll throw all those chilies in. Now I'm putting in half of my beef broth. This recipe is going to call for uh, five cups of beef broth. I'm just putting two and a half in here now. We're going to turn this on and let it simmer for about, probably take 10 to 15 minutes until all these, these chilies will get really soft. So let's get that all stirred in. I'm going to go ahead and cover it here. We'll cover that, let it simmer for about 10 15 minutes, and we'll come back. Cups to this. We're going to throw our tomatoes in. That is about three fine, fine ripened tomatoes. Not, not too big, not, not a huge tomato, just a, just a medium tomato. There's three of them. Nothing particular. You, you could use four, you could use two, depending on how much you like tomatoes. And we'll let this simmer. Probably about 10 or 15 minutes until those chilies get good and soft. We've simmered this for, well, it looks like we did it for about 13 minutes, 13 or 15 minutes. The peppers, they're just falling apart, they're so soft. Tomatoes just totally disappeared, they're in here somewhere. Now it's time to uh, blend this all together. If you have a high speed blender, that would work best. I do not have a high-speed blender with us here, but I do have this. And I'll work a little bit with this, get this all blended up. Handheld blender I think works just fine. You can kind of see the consistency. Now it's time to add the other two and a half cups of beef broth. And we're going to put our seared chuck steak in here. And we're going to let it we're going to let that simmer covered for a few hours till it's just fall apart tender. Looks like the beef is ready. It's fall apart tender. We'll just separate that from the consomme and we'll prepare to put this yummy stuff together. Okay guys, so we, we got everything ready. As you can probably see, uh, I have different clothes on. We didn't cook these the other night. It was way too windy outside and really getting cold. And of course I want to do these outside because I might make a little bit of a mess. So let, let's do it tonight. First thing we got to do is heat up our pan. And we're just going to put in our, uh, I'm using avocado oil. You can use any kind of oil you want. Probably about, uh, I don't know, a couple teaspoons of avocado oil in there. We're just going to get the pan all good and covered with that. I think I'll put a little bit more. I am outside, I don't care about the mess. We'll let that heat up for a second. We've got our flour tortillas. Now these are kind of thick tortillas. Uh, these are made for making uh, gorditas. So if you have regular corn tortillas, you'd probably have to use two of them for this. Getting our, get this going. Let that get good and hot. Oil's nice and hot. We've got our tortilla. We're gonna take our tortilla and dip it into consomme. Just put it in here, fry one side of it. You might have to press it down a little bit if it starts to uh, balloon up on you. Bubble up. We're going to get this side good and good and fried. 
That's how come I like to do it outside. Then once we get that side fried, we're gonna flip it over. Okay, that, that fried up pretty well. We're gonna take some meat put on there. It's your decision, however much you want on there. We've got Chihuahua cheese. Again, your decision on the cheese. You could use Jack. Heck, you could use cheddar. Lots of cheese is always better. We like onions on ours. And just about everything we put onions, I think. I think uh, some pickled red onions. Pickled red onions and... Lime juice would be really good for this too. Uh, we've also got cilantro. Uh, my wife really doesn't eat cilantro. I'll put that on the last ones. Now, of course, we want a little more of this sauce in there. We'll just make a taco out of it and fry this thing looking good already and the ones we had in Mexico had a lot of cheese coming out and that was really the best part because that that cheese gets all all nice and all nice and hard and crispy the ends of these tacos were the best we'll just give that probably a, a minute on each side something like that the crispier the better, I think. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, there we go. That's what we're looking for, the nice crispiness of that. It's really up to you how much you how much you how much crisp crispness you want on there and when I get these done tonight I'm gonna put them on a plate I'm gonna make us each a couple of them put it on a plate and keep it in the toaster of them keep it warm for us Okay, so there's one of them. Looks pretty tasty. Stick it in here, keep it warm. Let's do one more. Throw some oil. Get the pan all good and oiled up. Let the oil heat for a second here. Grab our tortilla. Fry it up real good. If you had a, uh, if you got a black stone or something like that at home to cook on top, this would be perfect. You could do a whole bunch of them at one time instead of one at a time in a frying pan. If I was at home, I'd probably be using a cast iron skillet. Let's give this a flip, get the oil moved around. Get 
some of our beef on there. To our cheese, lots of cheese of course. Some onions, or whatever you want to put on, even corn. I think corn would be good on it. Grill some corn and cut it off the cob, put some grilled corn in there. Some more consomme. And yes, they are messy to eat. But boy, are they good. Looks pretty good, doesn't it? Okay, we'll just let that crisp up, then we'll, I'm going to do this probably a few more times, and we'll take them inside and eat. We are ready, got them all done. Remember I said we were going to cook two of them for each of us, I was going to have four, well, I did six, because they look so good, and they're probably definitely not finger food, but let's dig in. Okay, let's see what we got here. Definitely not finger food. Smells really good. Mm-hmm. Everybody for a mile around could probably smell them. Mm -hmm. Definitely good. Could put a little more sauce on them if you need it. Right now I don't. Cheesy. I like the cilantro in mine. Yeah, very good. Very good. Definitely they taste pretty much the same as in Mexico. And uh, now we can eat them whenever we want. Maybe just a little more thicker, a little more meat and ingredients in them. The ones in Mex Mexico we could pick up. Uh, no way we could pick up these. I always overdo it on the ingredients. So, I think this is a winner. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll try to do some more of our recipes that we cook when we're going around the countryside in the coach. See ya.